Have you been looking for a free mobile video editing app that can solve some of your video editing problems? Or you've seen a couple of awesome short form videos and you wanna try and emulate some of the certain effects or styles to essentially create better videos. Well, today I am gonna share with you my seven tips or seven reasons as to why I think you should download the CapCut vi free video editor for iPhone and Android. One of the top reasons as to why I think this video editing app is the best is because it actually creates auto-generated captions. Now, when we come to create videos for social media, one of the key pillars of storytelling that we like to share and talk about uh, in our Action Camera Masterclass is this notion of text. Now, text is a very key uh, retention editing tool that not every video that you see on social media is adopting. And I think it's one thing that you could adopt to improve your videos straight away. It's something that we share with our students all the time, and that is to simply use text to retain your viewers' attention. Unlike video platforms like YouTube, where people are actually clued in <laughs> and listening to the audio, on short form video carousels like TikTok and, well, maybe not TikTok, but on Instagram, and sometimes on shorts, people aren't listening to the video. So one way to improve that video is to use text on screen. Simply click the auto-generated captions icon and import your video. A pop-up will appear and you can select the language as well as a few other recommended AI features. Fire that off and CapCut will do its thing. I recommend going through the text and checking for typos. Once that's done, you can also choose to animate and edit the text to suit your own personal preference and style. This really is so, so simple to do. Okay, does this sound like you? You are a brand new editor and you have never edited a single video on your phone. Or you are a pro editor and you are looking to turn around your social media content quickly. Specifically for someone like me, if I was looking to create a bunch of Instagram stories and I wanted to make those stories a little bit more dynamic, but I didn't want to put in a lot of effort because, you know, I've been shooting all day and I'm tired and I just want to quickly get something onto my story. I've got a bunch of really cool iPhone clips. That's where I would introduce you to the CapCut Auto Cut feature. Now this is a really powerful AI editing tool that can one, help the beginners just to create something, get some of those memories off your smartphone and out there into the world onto your social media, or B, if you're a pro editor, turning around some of your clips that you've captured from the day to make your stories more dynamic. Simply click the auto cut icon at the app home screen, select your clips from your phone and let CapCut auto generate a template. You can browse the initial offerings. However, if you don't like any of these templates, you can click refresh and get another batch of awesome templates. Feel free to tweak these to your likings and once you're stoked, export the clip and upload it to your stories. The next problem you may be facing is getting people to actually watch your entire reel or getting people to watch your short format content for the entirety or getting them to just watch it for longer. And a way to do that on the CapCut mobile video editing application is through background removal. Now you may see these videos where people are seamlessly like sticking themselves on front of content and you've got all this stuff happening in the background. That is done so easily with the CapCut mobile video editor and the tool is called background removal. Let's say you've got five tips that you wanna share with someone and you wanna add a whole bunch of overlay in the background. Well, create a new project and import your select piece to camera. For best practice, be sure to film this piece to camera in front of a simple background. Maybe use a tripod. From here, select cutout and then background removal. Once the background is removed, you can add in a second clip. Now select this cutout clip and choose overlay from the bottom panel. You can stack the two clips on top of each other and then resize your background remove clip to suit your frame. It's that easy, c'est très facile. If you found any of these tips useful so far, I'd love it if you could punch that thumbs up button. Um, or if you wanna create longer format videos, you're not looking to create short format videos, then I highly recommend checking out this video up here in the cards because it also will address how you can create better longer format videos with this same free video editing application. The next problem that I wanna solve for you guys is for the photographers out there. Now I know, Video editing and these short format video editing carousels have been a huge frustration, especially for those of you that don't want to create video. So <laughs> this tip is literally teaching you how to turn your photos into videos quite seamlessly and effectively. Create a new project and navigate to the top. However, this time select a range of your epic images to animate. So once imported, I recommend setting your frame size and scaling your images to all fit the design aspect ratio. In this case, I'm choosing nine by 16. Select an image from your timeline and click 
animate, this will show you a range of awesome animation effects that can be applied to your photos. Set the desired length of the animation and repeat this process for each of your images. It's so simple and looks so good. Pro tip for those video editors, if you want to create a specific video to a reel and you're trying to synchronize that video to that song in the Instagram app, why not just download the song or download the reel, get the URL, download it from a free video downloader, um, and then subtract or extract the audio in the CapCut editing tool and edit directly in CapCut to the song that you want to use. That way, everything will sync up perfectly when you go to upload that video into your Instagram reel. I think this is tip number five, maybe tip number six, but it is literally utilizing stabilization. So for those of you that shoot a lot of iPhone or smartphone content, something that you can do to iron out all of those jitters, maybe you've been running or maybe you've been riding some kind of skateboard or riding a bike and you wanna make your video look smoother, why not use the stabilization tool to just iron out some of your jitters, shakes. You can do this in CapCut really simply. They have a stabilization feature and essentially what this is doing is it's going to crop in every time you go to add more stabilization. This is a really great tool to make your videos look more professional. Tip number six is to utilize motion blur. Now for those of you that have either shot in high frame rates and want to add blur to your images, then I highly recommend just adding some motion blur and you can do this really seamlessly in CapCut. Traditionally, if you wanted to create this, you would move the camera fast, put an ND filter on and shoot in a low frame rate, namely 24 or 25. But you can do this by shooting in 60 frames and just adding this effect in CapCut and it looks really good for short format video edits, specifically those of you that are creating lots of action or travel style videos. Tap on the clip that you like to apply the motion blur and navigate your way down to the bottom panel and slide the slider all the way to the end. Here you will see the motion blur icon. Click on this and apply your select amount of motion blur to your clip. I recommend pushing the sliders to get the maximum results. You can also change the amount of blend and blur direction. Once happy, let CapCut do its thing. Now tip number seven is the fact that you can export high quality videos. I think it's super important to be exporting your social media content or giving these algorithms something in a higher resolution. So if you've shot a lot of your video in 4K or even if you've shot it in 1080, CapCut is an app that gives you the ability to export that uh, clip in 4K and you can also choose your frame rate. Having the flexibility to do this is super valuable and will make your videos look way better. A bonus reason for those of you that are new to vlogging and you're really trying to improve your on-screen presence and your camera skills, I highly recommend that you test out the teleprompter feature. Now it's not an editing tool, but it is a fantastic way to just throw up some of your talking points in front of you on your smartphone so that you can be more articulate, you can be more confident, you cannot be, I guess, just trying to shoot from the hip or, you know, be like, oh, what am I, what am I saying? I forgot my words. You can just have them on screen, test out the teleprompter feature. You can shoot your videos both vertically and horizontally. This is a really awesome tip to improve your camera presence and to just create better vlogs or, or smartphone video content. If you guys have any other problems with your mobile or smartphone editing, I'd love it if you could drop those questions or concerns in the comment section below. And if you're looking to create high quality uploads, then I highly recommend checking this video out here. Thanks for sharing the stoke and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!